You want to shoot the indestructible page with a giant ray gun? A giant gamma ray gun. Will go boom? Big time? Bingo. Huge time. You don't get it, Rump. There's magic pumping through these veins now. You got that right. Hulk will deliver the page to Lilith, just as it was foretold, just as she planned all along. All right, because you're telling me she orchestrated all of this? My mother always gets what she wants. With the dark hold in her grasp, there is only one thing she is missing. Me. Our time to stop Cathan is running short. At this point, I'm willing to try just about anything. So, if you have any bright ideas... Surely the situation is not as dire as it seems. There must be more to learn, more secrets to unlock, some weakness we could discover about Cathan. That's what I'm doing. If there's even a hint of a notion of a way to stop Cathan, I will ferret it out. If the circumstances weren't so dire, I might even find this fun. Keep at it. Do not give up. We have to find something in one of those books. These books tell me Cathan has been a threat before civilization began, when all that walked the Earth were the Elder Gods. But what else? Surely there is some bit of knowledge we can use. What other things did you learn? I could keep you up all night blathering on about this, so tell me specifically what you are curious about. I do not want to hinder you anymore. Keep reading. Surely there is something we can use. I hope you're right. And I'll keep digging. I'm sure she forgives you. Thanks, Peter. But I kinda wanna be alone right now. Yep, yeah, okay, sorry. Just trying to help. I know. But this is not something you can help with. Maybe someone else can. Do you think what Peter said is true? That Agatha... <sighs> forgives me for what I did? I know she forgives you. Yeah, right. You can't know that. Well, I do. No, you don't. No one does. She's dead and it's all my fault. It's always my fault. If I had learned to control my powers better, she would be here today. Agatha understood the dangers of taking someone as powerful as you under her wing. She did it anyway, because she had faith in you and who you are to become. And look what her faith cost her. An early grave. Maybe she saw something in you. Something that was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> That's nice of you to say, but say it to caretaker. I still haven't been able to look her in the eye since I've been back. She hates me. She does not hate you. She fears you. And there is a difference. Yeah, well... I fear myself. So, I guess that makes two of us absolutely terrified of me. Then show yourself and caretaker that there is nothing to be afraid of. I'll work on it. Agatha would want the two of you to be reconciled. Uh, I know. I just don't know if I can make that happen. Try. For Agatha. Yeah. For Agatha. Yeah. <sighs> I, uh, kind of need a few more minutes alone with her. Go on without me. I will take my leave then. Thanks, Hunter. Guess you overheard our conversation. Some of it. Let's face it, this doomsday scenario might be a little too on the gothy supernatural side for the Avengers. So, it's time for them to move over and let the kids take the reins. While I admit that we may need a change in strategy, I do not see the need to squeeze out the Avengers. 
It's not like they have any problem stonewalling us whenever they feel like it. Nico, we are all supposed to be working together. Well, maybe this working together stuff doesn't always, you know, work out. Besides, everyone needs a little help now and then. Even the Avengers. So, do you have a plan? You mean a plan to stop Cathan from serving us all up in his all-you-can-eat cosmic flesh buffet? We don't have all the deets nailed down as of yet, but we'll work it out. Till then, keep this under wraps until we know what we're doing. I don't want to freak out the Avengers any more than they already are. Will do. Cool. Catch up later. Hey, um... Thanks for coming, everybody. I, I know we're all stretched thin at the moment. We're all here for you, Robbie. We know this is important to you. But we should move things along. I know what you're all thinking. You thought Blaze was a Major League asshole. Whoa. I thought Professor Xavier was the mind reader, Logan. Quiet, you. Anyway, Blaze. Yeah, he wasn't nice. But it's not a nice world. And sometimes you gotta be that way to get things done. And he really got a lot of things done. So, you kids remember that. You won't always be so fresh-faced and innocent. <sighs> Thanks, Logan. Uh, you said it better than I ever could. To be honest, I, I really struggled with what I was gonna say. Because I used to worship the flaming ground Blaze rode on. And then I met him. And, safe to say, I didn't worship him so much anymore. Fairly certain, I hated him. Right until he went and sacrificed his life to save mine. Johnny might not have been perfect. But at the end of the day, he was one of us. And I'm glad to have known him. To Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. <sighs> Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Is that it? Can we go now? To think. Long ago, the nation of Transia was once the seat of power for the heroic knights of Wondergore. Might as well be Camp Hydra these days. They're pulling in reinforcements from everywhere. But reinforcing what exactly? Mount Wondergore. There's been something wrong with that place for as long as I can remember. Something like this. Nothing wrong with that. Now we know where to strike. Time for a little payback on Queen, Demon... No? Right. Make one slight mistake. Handing my mother the last page of the Darkhold? <sighs> Bringing back the Hulk? Okay, same mistake, technically. Fine. You take point then. Roger that. Actually, how about you let us handle things? The Sanctum, Tony's Gamma Death Star, uh, Wanda. Think about it. Every time we listen to you all, some new catastrophe seems to happen. You're not our babysitter, Hunter. You're our leader, and we are the Midnight Suns. We're family. And family's family. So this time, we got your back. Then what are we waiting for? What if we aim for his heart or something? Uh, he's not a vampire. He's a gamma-powered muscle man. Juiced up with a heavy dose of Lilith's corruption. In other words, we're screwed. Look, I know Lilith is like a dark goddess with an extra angry Hulk as her number two. Don't forget the parchment of power. She's got that too, which is like super OP. But we've got something that she doesn't. A death wish? No, dude. We've got friends. Each other. We're the Midnight Suns. And you know what we Suns do? We rise. We've got this, guys. We have to believe in ourselves if we're gonna pull this off. Blade, Robbie. You know what to do, right? We'll see you soon, Nico. Better not leave me hanging, because our entire continued existence depends on us. Right. No pressure. It's just the end of the world. Not if we can help it. Whatever. Yes. 
Midnight Suns Assemble or whatever. Why not?
goes wrong? Everything. Mysterious structure, which has I been hope Aunt May isn't watching this because she's going to flip. Suddenly appeared in the war-torn Republic. Try to stop it, but decimating a screwed up, Robbie. It's okay. You can say it. Doesn't matter who screwed up. What matters is that we're screwed. Every social media outlet with the hashtag #ApocalypseWow. We're in the end game now. Yay! We did it. Ugh, the first time we're actually trusted to sit in the driver's seat, the first freaking time, and we couldn't stop her. We dropped a mountain on her head, and Lila still managed to summon the Temple of Cathod. <sighs> Way to go, team. I, for one, regret nothing we did back there. And neither should you. Too bad it was all in vain. We do not know that yet. Yet? You saw what happened. Now, ancient ugly squid god is gonna arrive any moment to feast on our souls. Nico, I am not going to let that happen. Chosen one, remember? <laughs> How come you always manage to say the exact right thing to make me feel better? It is one of my secret superpowers. You mean not so secret superpower? Alright, I'm gonna stay out here a while and lick my wounds for a little bit longer. Thanks for, uh, checking up on me. Anytime. So you and Caretaker are on the mend. Seems so. I should be happy about it. But how can I be happy about anything when the Temple of Cathan is wreaking havoc on my home? I grew up in Transia, you know. In a remote village at the foot of Mount Wondercor. It's all destroyed now. Along with those poor people's lives. The casualties Transia has suffered these last few days. We will avenge each and every one of them. I really hope we can. It is not a matter of can, Wanda. We must. The world depends on it, literally. Whatever it takes to stop your mom, right? Whatever it takes. I'm afraid of her, you know. Of seeing her. I mean, what if it happens again? What if she turns me back into bad Wanda? What if I... go dark? If it came to that, we would find a way of removing her corruption again. I appreciate that, but I don't think you're going to have time for all that while you're also trying to stop Cathan from tentacle climbing into this dimension. You're right. We probably would not have time to save you. You wouldn't? I'm joking. Oh, you almost got me there. No one is leaving you behind, ever again. Promise? Cross my heart. Ah, well, I ought to get back to the news. See what new horrors are befalling my hometown. Do not watch too much of it. The overconsumption of news media is supposed to be bad for your mental health. Especially during an apocalypse. There are worse things for your mental health, Hunter. And I'm pretty sure I've experienced them all. I'll take my chances with a little cable news. Night. You have gone too far, Mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. What would you have me do? Allow you to destroy all of creation? The Hulk was right. You are somewhat overdramatic. The truth shall reveal itself soon enough. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. The Midnight Sun is coming. And with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? It is not I who seems to be wrestling with their destiny. What are you not telling me, Mother? Such an inquisitive and perceptive child. You remind me of him, you know. I thought we could not talk about him here. Don't be ridiculous. Not him. Him, your father. The similarities are impossible to ignore. 
I have never heard of you speak of him until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I'm a bit... sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. I could always count on your wisdom. Really? I always feared I was flying by the seat of my broom. Did I tell you I had one of those in the 1960s? Hm, quite comfortable. A seated broom? Where is it now? C can I see it? Lost in the chaos of an unforgettable music festival. <sighs> it was a wild year. Ah, <sighs> a shame. So, what troubles you? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha... I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... Useless. Ugh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. Good night. Agatha. Hunter, I'm coming in. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. What exactly did you hear? Agatha, speaking with you. I see. Do you deny it? I have to. Why? It is late. It would take too long to explain. We should talk about this soon. We do it now. We will talk. Soon. Oh, this isn't over. Good night. So I think we'll leave it there for today's episode. So as always, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.